All right, on today's episode of my vlog, I am going to be talking about when to register for the GRE GMAT test. Um, this is a question we get from our students a, a lot of times as well, especially on day one of our prep classes here in Atlanta. Students who say, hey, you know, I've taken, the, I've, I've registered for this class. Um, uh, when should I be registering to take the test? Or some students are already coming to the class, already registered for the test, um, and are hoping the class is going to be helpful to them and, you know, get them ready. So here are my rules for kind of knowing when to register for the GMAT test. My number one rule is do not register for the test and then find a course. That's actually putting the cart before the horse. Instead, find a really good course that you want to go, go through and then register for the test after you started that course. No, you don't have to wait to the end of the course to register for the test, but don't register for the test until you find a really good course because what you, what you find out is if you register for the test and you have a fixed date and then you register for a class, what usually happens is it's almost like you have a time bomb, a ticking time bomb um, in terms of that test date. And you don't want that feeling because that feeling does not make you relax enough to really study and prepare for the test as you need to. So instead, find a course, start at least the first week of that course. One thing I tell our students in our prep classes here in Atlanta is come to week one of the class and um, be able to make sure that everything is moving smoothly. And then up after about week one, week two of the class, you have a sense of, okay, how much do I know? How much do, is this class is gonna help me with? And how much am I gonna need to do some extra studying after the class is over to be able to pick a test date? So usually after week one or week two of the class, you can then accurately, better accurately pick an actual test date. Um, and that's you know a, a good recommendation there in terms of when you should be picking a test date. Another thing I also suggest is, you know, as you start going through a class, a class is going to reveal a lot, our classes at least, reveal a lot of things you don't know, but also teach you a lot of things, but also reveals a lot of other things you didn't even know you didn't know. So what does that mean? That means um, in terms of picking a test date out, one thing that helps you to pick a test date is when you're about 60% confident about your study, kind of like 60% of the way there, you are then able to accurately pick a test date in the future. So that's another advice to, to kind of have. As a class starts, you know, about 60% of the way in terms of your study, you can then kind of accurately pick a test date that you know by that test date, you will be confident enough to actually take the test and not have to pay extra money to reschedule the test. Um, our classes here in Atlanta are five weeks long. Um, and usually we recommend come to the first week of class and then be able to uh, actually pick a test date. If you're interested in um, uh, more prep classes for the GMAT or the GRE to accurately be able to prepare you for the GMAT test, I recommend you go to successprep.com and on our webpage, you'll be able to see, you see some big circles and you can pick the circle for whichever course you're looking for, for the GMAT, for the GRE, and even we do SAT, ACT, and even the LSAT as well. So that is my tip for today on, how, on when to register when to accurately register for the GMAT and GRE test. And I will see you on our website, successprep.com, and see you around. And in whichever way we can be of help to us, definitely reach out to us on social media, on Facebook, and also on our website at successprep.com.